Oh my gosh, guys, I literally almost just lost it. I thought my camera was done for dead out the door, but it actually turned out to just be the battery, so we're good to go. I just ran to Best Buy, I got a new battery, so now we're filming, and thank God, because today we're going to be talking about how to make your photos in lower resolution, and as you know, this is super important. This is really important when it comes to <laughs> websites that need you to have a lower quality images just because their databases, what have you, can't function with such a large image and I noticed that even on YouTube your thumbnail needs to be obviously a certain resolution but when it comes to your work and submitting photos to publications and just doing things like that they often need a certain resolution and sometimes it's under 500 megabytes so today I'm going to show you exactly how to make your photo a smaller size just so that in case you need to know how to do that you can easily do that. Today I'm actually going to show you how to do this through iPicky.com. It's a free photo editing site and I show you guys a lot of stuff on iPicky. So that's what we're going to use for today. Alright, so let's head to iPicky. Once you're at iPicky.com, you're going to click the Start Editing Now button. And then upload your photo. After you upload it, go ahead and click it. And then here, this photo is actually already edited, but I can show you in some of my old videos how exactly I edit my photos and like the filters I use and stuff. But today I'm just going to show you how to save it in lower resolution. So here is where you can see how many megabytes your photo is. And then you drag this toggle to see the new resolution size. So if you need it at a certain resolution size, you can just keep dragging that toggle until you reach that resolution size or a little bit lower. And then click save your computer. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been so fun filming these fun little tips for you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. And of course, like this video if you liked it, if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel.